Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin, this is my co-host Teddy, and today we're going to be doing our first GTX 1080 showdown. So this is the Founders Edition GTX 1080, and we're going to be putting it up against the former king, this Asus Strix GTX 980 Ti. Now, as an added bonus, I thought I would include uh, the Asus Strix uh, GTX 980, which is in my rig uh, right now, just to show you guys who maybe own a 980 what this sort of upgrade will be to a 1080. But we're going to be focusing mostly on the 1080 and the 980 Ti, and let's jump straight into it with the GPUs. So over on the 980 Ti, you're getting a 28 nanometer GM200-310 Maxwell GPU. And on the GTX 1080, you're getting the new 16 nanometer GP104 Pascal GPU. That means on the 980 Ti, you're getting 2816 CUDA cores, and on the 1080, you're getting 2560 CUDA cores. So the 980 Ti actually has more than the 1080, but I don't want to make it too complicated for you guys, but um, it doesn't take that with a grain of salt because like effectively imagine that the cores are faster on the 1080. So let's talk about speeds then. So on the 980 Ti, the highest boost speed I saw was 1379 megahertz, which is pretty decent for a 980 Ti. And on the GTX 1080, the highest boost speed I saw was 1898 megahertz. So call that 1900 megahertz. You see GPU boost 3.0 on the 1080 just uh, going crazy, taking it up so high compared to GPU boost 2.0 on the 980 Ti. Now let's talk about memory then. So on the 980 Ti, you're getting six gigabytes of GDR5 memory at 7,010 megahertz on a 384-bit bus. And over on the 1080, you're getting eight gigabytes of GDR5X at 10,000 megahertz on a 256-bit bus. So remember, GDR5X has double the data rate of GDR5, so um, quite a big upgrade there in memory for the 1080 over the 980 Ti. TDP wise, you're getting a 250 watt TDP on the 980 Ti and a 180 watt TDP on the 1080. Now let's talk about the cooler sense. So of course, this is the Founders Edition 1080, which means you're getting the uh, reference cooler, which we've seen from NVIDIA for quite a while now. Obviously, it's been uh, redesigned a little bit, a bit more angular. Uh, they said they've uh, tweaked it a little bit. Uh, I could notice that it was um, quite a bit less noisy than previous reference coolers, but we'll talk about that more uh, later on when we get to temps and noise. And uh, the back plate's been slightly changed as well. But overall, this is still a, a really good looking cooler. I would have maybe liked something a little bit newer just because they've sort of been doing this for a while since the Titan came out. Um, but yeah, you know, whatever. It it's still looks pretty decent, so that's cool. Now over on the uh, 980 Ti, this is the Strix cooler, so this thing is absolutely massive, so make sure it's going to fit in your rig before you buy it. This is a gigantic graphics card, uh, obviously a triple fan DC3 design, uh, it's got the big, big, big heat pipes there and very, very long heat sinks running the whole length of the card, a real nice back plate on this as well, it's a very, very sexy card, I really like it, um, and it's uh, just an excellent cooler, it's very, very good, but as I said before, it's also very big as well, so make sure it's going to fit in your case. So without further ado, let's jump into the benchmarks. And of course, I'll throw the 980 benchmarks in there also for you guys. And uh, just to let you know, I um, of course, we're going to be doing a bunch of different games in synthetics in 1080p, 1440p, and 4K. But you guys were asking for a DirectX 12 benchmark, so I threw one in there. Uh, it's uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider. So I hope you guys uh, like that and you'll be able to see the difference in DirectX 12 performance between all the different graphics cards.
we're back. So in terms of uh, performance upgrade, the 1080 has about, it averages out to be about 15% um, performance gain over the uh, 980 Ti. So that is uh, good, of course, it's good, that's an upgrade. However, it's more of an incremental upgrade and you probably wouldn't notice it very much if you upgraded to a 1080 from the uh, 980 Ti. However, if you were comparing the 980 to the 1080, you'll see that was a massive jump up there. So that would be a very big difference and a very noticeable difference to go from the, ten, uh, the uh, 980 to the 1080 in terms of uh, performance. But yeah, um, still very good scores there. And of course the uh, 1080 wins. However, performances and everything, what about the temperatures? Now, before we jump into this, I just want to say that a lot of people are talking about thermal throttling on the uh, Founders Edition GTX 1080s, and I did observe that also, and I did take this into consideration. However, when I took the temperature limit away to stop it from thermal throttling um, and added some more power to it, I only noticed a performance gain of about one FPS. So that's within the margin of error. So it's not really going to be that impactful. It's not like the 1080, um, if you take the thermal limit away, it's going to, you know, go so much harder. I didn't really notice that at all. So it's only about one FPS that you lose due to the thermal throttling. But let's talk about the uh, temps then. So it's a little bit unfair because this is a reference cooler going up against two non-reference coolers, uh, very good non-reference coolers at that. But, um, you know, we did it anyway. So this was in the Unigen Valley benchmark on the Extreme HD setting. The GTX 980 scored uh, 65 degrees Celsius at 36% fan speed. 980 Ti got 72 degrees Celsius at 43% fan speed and the 1080 got 82 degrees Celsius at 55% fan speed. So it's like we were jumping up in tens um, for both the, the temperatures and the fan speeds as we went through uh, the gross cards. But um, yeah, so, so the 1080 is quite hot running. Um, if you take the thermal limit away, I was seeing it go up to around, it would sort of like to sit about 85 degrees Celsius. Um, so it's definitely not going up to say 95 degrees like some of the AMD reference models we saw a while back. But yeah, um, it does kick out quite a bit of heat. So I would probably say going forward, um, it would be a, a good idea to maybe consider some non-reference designs of the 1080 over at the um, Founders Edition, especially if you're going to be overclocking also. Let's move on now to noise. So as I said earlier, uh, the revised cooler, this revised reference cooler from NVIDIA on the 1080 is a bit more quiet than previous ones I've tested like the uh, reference 980 Ti. So they have made that improvement there. So that was pretty good. However, again, it's never going to be as good as a non-reference graphics card, which it is going up against. So just keep that in the back of your mind. But as always, I'll let you guys judge for yourself. So this was taken again during the uh, Unigen Valley Extreme HD benchmark in the same part of the benchmark, so it's all at the same time. We'll do the 980 first, then the 980 Ti, and then the 1080 at the end. So as you can see, the uh, non-reference cards pretty much ran away with it, which is what we were expecting anyway. Um, they're just going to be quieter just due to the design, much bigger um, heat sinks on them. So the fan speed doesn't need to go as hard. And of course, being a triple fan and dual fan versus a single fan blower design. But the 1080 still did a decent job there. It definitely didn't do bad. Um, I thought it still did uh, a lot better than many other reference cards would do, especially from uh, AMD. So it's definitely no hair dryers. So you don't need to worry about that. Which brings us now to the conclusion. And what do I think of the uh, GTX 1080 and uh, how does it compare to the 980 Ti? So I'm going to put it this way. If you currently own a GTX 980 Ti, then do not upgrade to the GTX 1080 unless there's some specific feature uh, that comes with the 1080 that would warrant you to upgrade for some specific reason. Otherwise, I 
probably wouldn't if we're talking about just pure performance. It's just not worth it for a 10 to 15% performance uh, increase. It's probably just not going to be worth it. Uh, I'd wait for the 1080 Ti or something really powerful from AMD to come out before you decide to upgrade. However, if you are running a GTX 980, then yes, I would definitely say it would be a huge upgrade for you to jump from the 980 to uh, the 1080. And if there's uh, people out there right now that say have maybe an older graphics card or a lower end graphics card and they're um, wanting to jump up to either a 1080 or a 980 Ti and they're not sure which one to pick. Because uh, when we bring price into it, the 1080 is priced quite high straight away, especially the Founders Edition. And these 980 Ti's, as a lot of retailers are trying to get rid of them now, um, are on special, their prices have been slashed, so you can actually get yourself a really good deal on a 980 Ti. Now I'd put it to you like this. If there is a 980 Ti for say, um, $100 or more less than the 1080, so say you, you compare the prices at whatever store, your local computer store, and it's like $200 less, this is talking in US dollars, um, then definitely uh, go for it. It would be worth it then. But say if it's only $100 or less price difference between um, a 1080 and a 980 Ti, then just go for the 1080, because it's obviously going to warrant it with all the features it comes with and the fact that uh, it is going to have that 10 to 15 percent performance increase over it. So that's basically how I'd put it, and I hope that's uh, very informative to you guys because that's about the the best way I can put it. But the um, GTX 1080 is a very impressive graphics card, but it's uh, again in terms of just pure performance, it's more of an incremental upgrade um, over the 980 Ti. Pretty much what we saw uh, when we went from the 780 Ti to the GTX 980. Now I thank you guys for watching this video, please subscribe to Tech Showdown if you haven't already and like the video and in the comments section down below uh, let me know what your thoughts are on, on this showdown in particular and also let me know if there are any showdowns you would want me to do in the future, just um, you know what, what graphics cards do you want, uh, is it specific models you want me to test, uh, let me know down in the comments section below, it can be 1080s, 1070s, RX 480s when they come out, um, just all that stuff I'd really like to know because I want to bring you guys the showdowns that you guys want to see. Now I thank you for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time.